What is good friends and welcome back. Thanks for watching. What a conquest friends. I mean, you saw the game footage. You probably saw the other content creators sharing our game footage during the, this whole Moscow event. I mean, it was by far the most exciting and the most intense Moscow I've ever had since I play Warpath. Truly a beautiful event with our friends and allies. We're gonna talk about this. Uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna explain what happened for those who didn't follow this, this whole event as maybe some of you were also fighting in Moscow we're gonna go through this this was a a true test for us it was uh, as you know the last con or the the, the last conquest uh, including the last Cairo and the last San Francisco not much happened especially during the first days as for Carol, it was a fiasco. I mean, we were ready and we expected a firework, but it never happened. So for this Moscow, before the Paramount final, we wanted to test G27 against HBR and Server 24 to see where we stand. And I think that the whole world saw what we are capable of. I'm going to talk about this as well. And before I explain what we did or tactic, it's always good to get challenged, right? When the conquest is too easy, you still roll everyone. I mean, you're having a blast because you dominate everybody else but you don't see where you stand you don't have to think when you are under stress what can you do to save the situation what can you do to bounce back that's what we did and to be honest i've said it before i'm gonna say it again i wasn't too convinced about this whole idea of playing against everyone i thought that we couldn't pull it off but we did and i'm glad we did because now we know our limit we know our breaking point and when like i say when you are under stress this is when you start to make your brain cells work try to elaborate the plan find a solution adapt and overcome all right so i know that everybody wants to win and set up the conditions to do so it's always good not to lose on purpose but to get challenged it good for it's good for the morale it's good for the mojo so without wasting more of your time <laughs> with me rambling as you know we started here and the plan was to build airports or launch pad along our way heading east side toward hbr settlement or their safe zone right there as of 24 and hbr they built they developed their land on the upper portion of the map we build toward the east side on the lower portion of the map we proceed to isolate a server 7 and also zero degrees zd our last launch pad was in that area and then we proceed to build a launch pad our final launch pad in this area really close to hbr settlement and the their safe zone this is where we got challenged the most this is where the was the most difficult battle as we we succeed to build our launch pad as i guess that 24 we didn't build close enough they were not close enough to hbr to oppose that build or to contest that build so they let they let us build and the problem is when you build launch pad you're not fighting in claim land a launch pad is a patch of land that you can um, teleport but you're not you don't benefit from alliance territory buff so you lose quite a lot of buff compared to the opposition if they fight from claim land so you have to keep in this in mind you are less effective you are like kind of nerfed versus the opposition so what happened is we couldn't save that airport right there that launch pad we lost this launch pad and as we were trying to defend this area was filled with g27 bases but in neutral village and eventually the enemy at the beginning of the the conquest everybody got full reserves and everybody go on full force they kind of reckless they don't care too much about their reserves so they they went hard on us they went heavy on us and you could tell by the amount of army groups and the progress they made so finally when hbr uh, caught up on building they were able to progress until they reached this point where we were trying to recover and this is where 24 built a launch pad to better assist hbr as 
24, they couldn't progress past this claim land here. So they had to build a launch pad right there. At this point, we were still fighting in neutral village. Not only that, but we couldn't reinforce our position as we had to truck our way from this position toward that position. So despite all our effort, we were not able to stop that CC. And this is when I start to believe that we would lose this conquest as the enemy was very motivated. I'm going to call them the enemy. Of course, they are friends, but in this city, they were the enemy. They were the opposition. And at this point, I said to myself, maybe we're going to lose this conquest after all. Maybe there are too many enemies there are too many too much opposition we are outnumbered and we it's it's it was a big struggle for us despite having a better a pay buff it was not enough to offset the amount of units on the ground they had a, a lot of tanks a lot of artillery and they were making good progress so they build hbr they built into this position and our second launch pad was in danger of getting burned so they finally reached that position we were not able to hold that bridge here they came across the bridge and that was toward the reset maybe a few hours before the reset and this was starting to glow they were burning our land past the bridge and we were afraid that they would build a central command here to try to stop us they were also going the other way through a ZD zero degree and bother us from this side but zero degree they had plenty of land here so HBR were kind of fighting us and zero degree in this portion so the reset happened and we elaborate a counter attack so we did at a certain given time we all jumped and this is where we burned everyone so at that time we had flame land and we were we connected from the settlement right there to this portion just in time for the massive counter attack so this is when we build all the way there this is all gone as we needed to delete that for the final phase but we all we built all the way there and then the massive counter attack of hbr in 24 happened this is you probably saw the footage and uh, this is this i think this was one of the biggest attack and every time hbr and 24 attacked us they were very well coordinated every time hbr and 24 attacked us they always did at the exact same time they had amazing coordination and this was kind of hard but at this point they we were fighting in claim land so this is where hbr and 24 stop making progress at this point when they start attacking us in claim land they felt the buff we had and this was very hard for them to burn our bases they could still burn our bases but they couldn't burn villages as now in, the, in our position we could reinforce instantly we could jump behind them we could ambush them so in the process they were still burning our bases but they were losing a lot of reserves during that process and you could tell every time a base was getting burned we saw the report and it was in the thousands of kill per base and you saw the video i mean we were dropping base one after the other we didn't allow them to burn that village the attack stopped they ceased fire they retreat and we start making progress but we stop at a certain point we didn't go all the way to the, the town we gave them we didn't give them a break but this was not our objective our objective was to secure that fort this one until this one right there sorry until this one right there so we wanted to have control the whole control of this belt toward to gain access to the second ring of moscow so that what we did everything went as planned at this point i think the opposition they knew that it would be more difficult than they expect and they they toned it down a little bit i mean they were more uh, cautious in their attack you could tell that they were a bit less aggressive so that what happened and when we took control of the fort we proceed to take control of the blockhouse and take control of 
almost all the arms factory except this one this is the first we built up to this position and when you build to this arm factory uh, when it's surrounded with raven land you cannot go across you could build a cc across but then you invalidate everything you build behind you so we stop there until the arms factory will be open to contest and this is when the second big counter-attack of HBR and 24 happened. We were not able to stop them. We had all bases there in neutral land. Once again, this advantage for us. So we had to retreat behind our, um, our claim land, but they didn't progress past that line. And while we were stopping them here, we were holding them. We gained control of this blockhouse, this one, this one. I mean, pretty much all the blockhouses including that one so i think they had only those two block houses everything else was under our control we had all the arms factory except this one and all the block houses except those one everything else was under our control so at this point this is when we got told to pump the brake a little bit their latest attack happened in this portion i think of the map where HBR and 24, they start pushing us from this side, trying to cut us off in this portion. That was the last major attack from 24 and HBR. And at that point, um, when they try to burn us, they ignite one village, but we activated the slow burn so they couldn't progress. And then that's when they realize, I guess that's my theory. That's how I see it, my perspective. So I guess that this is when they realize that they had to stop they expended all their reserves you could tell that very few fighters were getting involved all like the major fighters the lower or the weaker players were not in, uh, getting involved anymore i guess that they didn't have the reserves at this point and they were fighting really close to their base they were being extra cautious at this time and i see this as when I, I, I zoom out and I observe the battlefield, this is what I see. I can feel it. And this is the point where the victory is near. So when we stop the attack and we proceed to burn them uh, in this area, this is when they, they told us like, like guys, listen, just go easy. <laughs> and we did, because in the end, even if we're fighting against them, it's a friendly battle after all there were no peace treaty or any kind of uh, bullshit like this we just got told to stop in the end we want to make this event fun for everyone we don't want to steamroll our friends this is not interesting and we took the opportunity to rebuild reserves as we were running low as well so no more combat until the blockhouse opened and then there were a few fights but it was not like the same as before okay so all in all this is what happened and i know i didn't talk a lot about the other smaller alliances i do i'm not forgetting about you there is a zero degree mdc server 7 and of course uh f back from server 22 i believe guys i know uh, like, we didn't have much interaction we fought a little bit against you but i understand that this conquest was not the most pleasant i understand that and it's nobody's fault and at this point no it doesn't matter how much we flip this city we change or try to balance the team the difference in power is so immense is so huge that it doesn't matter if we take one two or three smaller alliance under uh, our protection the enemy will always go for you in the first time they always ain't target you as you are the weaker alliance it's easier kill so you're not safe as soon as you go across that safe zone as soon as you go outside your safe zone it's like a shark tank there's no survivor so either way uh, we thought about you so what we did when we capture when we settle or when we decide of which alliance capture the kremlin the settlement the blockhouse and every asset every objective what we did is we contact all the other smaller alliances and we told them if you want to get a touch reward just let us know we're gonna let them we're gonna let you get a touch reward on everything 
and I mean everything. So for those who are not familiar with the touch reward, it's basically we allow them to capture a blockhouse, arms factory, a fort, a settlement, a, a, even the Kremlin, just so you get the capture reward, and then we take it back. For us, it doesn't change anything, but for you guys, it changes a lot. And it makes this conquest a little bit less distressful, if I can say. As the thing is, it helps you out and it doesn't change anything for us. So that's the least we can do. And I know you were not quite happy about the outcome, but it is what it is. And in the end, we tried our best to please everyone, but it's kind of mission impossible when the difference in power is too great. So all in all, we had a lot of fun against uh, the opposition, the bigger and smaller alliances. It was very entertaining. And once again, I want to thank everybody who got involved in this conquest. I also want to thank the other content creator that shared some battles on YouTube. Uh, I saw a few of those videos and it's still f I still find it weird to see myself from another perspective. I will never get used to that. Now I know how is, uh, what's the feeling. Um, and I try to make a lot of content, but if you give me a choice between playing or making content, I'd rather play. All right, so that's all I have for you today regarding this battle, the plan, how we executed and the outcome. Now let's have a look at what we got in terms of rewards. All the missions are done. Okay, no surprise here. We didn't do any mistake. I didn't do any mistake. As for the final rewards, we decided to give the best reward to our friends. We got the eight uh, ground and air force components instead of the 10 ground and eight air force component. We decided to go with the smaller reward and give the best reward to our friends so that they uh, can use those, comp those extra components to better prepare for the paramount cup so basically what we got is we surrender we didn't get all the settlement we only got we have no we didn't get any settlement we got the uh three towns the kremlin two arms factory and we kept the kremlin so this is how we decide to finish our moscow event as for the conquest battle plan we completed everything no surprise here oh wait i misspoke we didn't get the first capture i think i think hbr got the first capture if i read yeah exactly and you may ask how was hbr n24 it's very hard for me to comment on their performance you tell me between hbr and 24 who was the most dominating or the most active or aggressive alliance for me i i didn't see the difference maybe you did uh, they were always attacking us at once so it's hard for me to tell who's who was more active than who doesn't matter they are about the same power and if there's a difference it's very small what else can I show you beside that? Yes, of course, the conquest ranking. So in terms of fighting machine, I finished 29th and 29th place with 144 million kills. I did all right. I mean, at the end, I prefer to keep and not spend more on reserves back. So I pump the break a little bit. Uh, I was happy with my position. And when you see the difference, uh, was it worth it for me to push to gain the uh, 20th place? Not really. I mean, only one more token, a few more metal or statues that I don't need. Not enough to justify it. As for Alliance Repute, we got first place with 16 million points and more. And I got the Elite Reward. Uh, I just got this today. Very about, uh, happy about the outcome. Once again, it was one of the best conquests I had. As you see, uh, we, we maxed the battle buff. So it was one of the most exciting and most busy conquests ever. A far cry from the last conquest in Cairo. You cannot always have a great conquest. Sometimes it's boring. Sometimes it's amazing. It is what it is. I mean, but I'm glad it was a great conquest for me and for you as a viewer as a spectator 
so now we are resting we are preparing for the final as you see there is no more combat no more red bases no more red units we are chilling and the timer will soon expire back to level cd3 until the next and final battle and as you can see if you see oh hold on i want to show you the paramount oracle so you can place your bet friends which of the alliance or which one or which alliance do you want to see as the victor place your bets we are popular but doesn't mean that we will, we will win <laughs> okay who's the champion there you go so we i'm uh, thank you i mean I we like have a lot of voice uh, we I have a lot of votes thank you i mean i appreciate your support i hope that we will deliver if you think that we're an alliance yes we're a strong alliance but we don't play this game like it's life or death we will play against anyone on any ground light or heavy it doesn't matter we're not afraid of anyone we just want to play we want to be busy we want to get challenged we want to be put under stress we don't care that's what we want whoever will win this final cup good for them if it's us it's us if it's another one we will congratulate them we are good sports that's it for today's friends i hope that you like this video if you did drop me a thumbs up i would much appreciate and I still appreciate your support. Until then, I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.